Hey there guys, MCB here. Before we get into the video, I want to explain a bit of what you're about to watch. I'm starting a new series called Minecraft Uncovered where I get to interesting news with Minecraft and Mojang, and this can mean new games, crazy bugs or exploits, special accounts, and much more. I've been learning and researching these things over the past year or two, but this is my first time making a video about them. Shout out to IGN Chucky and Luke the Hacker, because they're a big part of why I decided to start doing videos like this. There's new topics to talk about almost constantly, so let me know if you enjoy these and I can make a few more. Without further ado, let's get straight into the video. Minecraft is considered the best selling game of all time, with a history starting all the way back in May 2009, spanning nearly 11 years at the time of recording this video. With such a popular game, some interesting anomalies are bound to pop up now and again. Of course, I'm talking about invalid or illegal accounts. These accounts may be too long, too short, have special characters, or something else. These names are very valuable and interesting to the public, and many people, myself included, have been keeping tabs on them, creating lists, archiving information, and more. However, Mojang is not always entirely supportive of these bugged accounts. In today's video, we will be diving into the history and the mystery of the invalid accounts that disappeared. The first known invalid account to be changed was Smash Films on July 14th of 2014. Before we go any further, I feel I should quickly explain what I would call hidden invalids. These accounts have spaces either before or after the name. In game, you would see an empty space at the starter end of their name tag, but on sites like NameMC, they're invisible. The only way to see the difference outside of Minecraft would be through the official Mojang API. Two days later, Butter Cesar was changed. Eight days after that, Mr. Cactus was changed, and they were followed by The 1D Rock on October 13th, and both Cowsby Gaming and Rapid Emerian on November 16th. All of these accounts had a space before or after their name. Cowsby Gaming was not actually known to exist until just recently, when a friend of mine contacted the owner of MC Skin History, or MCSH, a site similar to NameMC. He was able to find several new invalid accounts that have been lost over the years, and we'll go over the other ones later in this video. These hidden invalids continued to be changed a few months later, starting on February 4th, which was the day that name changes were introduced to Minecraft, and after a two-day wave of Mojang changing invalid names, ending on February 20th of 2015 with Cosmic Chaos. There's too many here to say, so I'll just put a list on screen. Frosty Barnacle, Sonic and Kirby, and Monkey Sun were all one of the new accounts from MCSH. Notably, a few of these actually had multiple spaces in the username. Biebs, Sloopy678, which is one of the accounts found by my friend who talked to the MCSH owner, Mixmax, Smite, and the one and only all had one space before and one space after their name. XXRuthlessXX had two spaces before their name, Frosty Barnacle had two spaces after and one before, making it a 17 character name, so also technically an illegal length, and Timmy had a whopping 45 spaces before his name and 62 spaces after his name. Yeah, you heard me right, there was at one point an account with 112 characters, 107 of which were illegal. There were also a few normal and valid accounts that were removed during this time. Those were one cream hashtag smiley face, cool Texas girl hashtag one, Castiel's girl hashtag one, Kai Kaiju hashtag 11, Redog hashtag nine, say what, I is number one, Steve number eight, Mojo237 with two question marks at the end, just why not with a question mark, Puckhead for life hashtag one and Stampy fan hashtag one. Those last three were recently found by my friend. Interestingly, he and some other of my mutuals were also able to gain contact with the original creator of Kai Kaiju hashtag eleven and the current owner of what used to be Mojo two three seven with two question marks at the end. Although we didn't learn too much from Mojo two three seven, we did get the knowledge that he actually bought his account from an alt shop, and he didn't realize that it was anything special until he was contacted about it. However, we did get quite a bit of interesting information from Kai Kaiju. His account was both created and activated on December 25th, 2014, Christmas Day. According to him, nothing special was done to create his account. As far as he can remember, he just put the special characters in the username field and it let him create his account without any problem. Notably, the account was made using a gift code. He didn't buy it off the website like most players. After that huge wave in 2015, only three hidden invalids still existed. These were Scatman, Axu, and Am Jacobs. Scatman was removed just a few weeks later, on March 2nd of 2015, and Axu was removed in the middle of next year, on June 15th, 2016. It's thought that Axu survived so long due to being unmigrated, unlike the other changed accounts. Unmigrated means that you log in with your username instead of the email, and there's various things in the Mojang API and system that differ between unmigrated and migrated accounts. Am Jacobs, which was also unmigrated, lasted quite a bit longer, but uh, we'll get to that later. Outside of those, only one invalid was changed throughout all of 2015 and 2016, and that was Kasuni.w. Not much is known about this account though. 
All we know is just that it existed. It was created September 15th, 2011, and it was name changed on June 20th of 2015. Now, I'm sure you're all sick and tired of hearing about these hidden invalids. I mean, <laughs> there's so many, and you can't really even see there's anything special without going straight into the Mojang API. Well, after this, we get into the really nice accounts. Some of these are pretty popular, and you might have heard of them before. Instead of all being randomly changed just because Mojang noticed, there's an interesting and unique backstory to each account. Let's get started. The first name we have is Y-93. Now, back in 2017, invalid accounts could actually join Hypixel. Since then though, they've blocked invalid names, and Y-93 is probably the main reason why. You see, most server plugins and consoles don't account for special characters and usernames, since they technically aren't supposed to exist. So when Y-93 logged onto Hypixel, you couldn't just type slash ban Y-93 and ban the player. Y-93's owner at the time realized that, and decided it would be a good idea to let everyone know, so that's exactly what he did. Unfortunately for him, Hypixel decided they didn't like him bragging to everyone about how he was immune to the system, so they banned invalids from the network and reported his account to Mojang, who promptly changed the name to Y93 underscore on October 3rd, 2017. Following Y-93, the IGN user unknown was changed on November 16th of 2017. No one knows why it was changed, and there's not much history at all about the account other than the owners, who I won't be mentioning to protect their privacy. Another IGN was changed that November, but unfortunately, I can't actually say the name unless I want my video to be either demonetized or taken down by YouTube. Let's just say it was a German guy with a mustache that no one really likes. The username had a period at the end, making it invalid, but Mojang name changed the account due to it having an inappropriate name. The new name was Sparkle Panda Buds. Much nicer, don't you think? The name was changed again in the middle of 2018 to Blue Alt and the name MC has since been claimed with a Twitter account added. Now, between that account at the end of 2017 and the start of 2020, only a single account was changed. That was the username 1, which was changed back to fruity underscore cake in April 2019. Interestingly, this account and one other account with the username underscore not only had illegal username links, but also had invalid UUIDs. UUIDs are the unique identifier that every Minecraft account has, and they're the reason why your progress on Minecraft servers isn't completely reset whenever you change your name. Normal UUIDs are made in hexadecimal, which means they only contain numbers and the letters A through F. However, underscore and one broke that rule, as underscore had two U's in the ID and one had two U's and a Y in the ID. The IDs for these names were actually quite similar, following a template that you can see on screen now. Both these UUIDs were changed quite recently, the earliest mention I've been able to find of the new IDs is March 3rd of 2020. This date actually matches up quite well with some interesting Mojang invalid activity, but we'll get into that in a bit. Next up, we have the name with the most interesting history in my opinion of any lost invalid, and that's Mr. Peppy. The account was originally created at some point in 2009, and after several years of inactivity, it appears that it was hacked by a user who I won't name to protect their privacy. One way or another, it made its way through several owners, and it was living a long, happy life until just recently. Enter Silent Death. A player by the name of Silent Death appears to have bought the account from a user different from the original hacker. IGN Chucky, mentioned at the start of the video, actually had the login details to the account for a brief period of time. However, potentially due to sharing his login, Silent Death put the account at risk of being locked by Mojang. When an account is locked, it means that you can't log in, change the name, change the email, change the password, the security questions, essentially it's completely useless. Accounts are typically locked for one of two reasons. Reason one is that the account has had suspicious activity, which usually means logins from many locations, lots of password changes, stuff like that. These can be appealed if you have the transaction ID and original email of the account, neither of which are known for Mr. Pappy since it was hacked. Reason two is that the account was discovered to be sold by Mojang, which is true in this case, but unlikely to be the locking reason as the sale of the account was incredibly private. Regardless, the account was no longer fully secure. Now, Silent Death appears to want to work with Mojang, or at least to get on their good side, so rather than make the most of the ticking time bomb that was Mr. Pappy, he decided to change the name to Ruined by Silent on February 13th, 2020, immortalizing him as one of the few Minecraft players that can truly say they owned an invalid account. The decision was generally regarded as a poor move by many members of the community, and it somewhat hurt his reputation, although it did gain him a bit of popularity with those unaware of the situation. After that whole scenario, the invalid scene was actually rather calm. There was essentially no drama, nothing was deleted or changed, and there were even a few invalids that were found, which are on screen now. However, come March, everything burnt to the ground. March 2nd, 2020, at 1.11pm EST. The community notices that Alex99, Alexa25, Alex Undkillian, and Alex Clayton have suddenly disappeared from NameMC, presumably deleted. 
A few minutes later, the UUIDs of the accounts are checked, and fortunately, the accounts are found again, but something horrible has happened. Each and every one of them has been reduced to just a normal username, with no trace of the original names. Oddly, none of these names really had any reason to be changed. Alex99 was locked in February under the ownership of Silent Death, mentioned earlier, so there was no activity for several weeks. Alexa25 was lost forever when a good friend of mine lost his login info to the account as well as several OGs and CAPE accounts after his computer's hard drive corrupted about two months back. Alex and Killian had been owned by the same person for a long time, with nothing of suspicion in the few months preceding the name change, and nobody knows anything about Alex Clayton or why it was changed. Later that day, the name Space Tune, which was private, was changed too, and the following day, Am Jacob Space, which was unmigrated as mentioned before, was changed, as well as the username Boss B, which was entirely private before the names were changed. No one really knew why these names were changed, and well over a month later, it's still a mystery that only Mojang themselves know the answer to. However, there are several theories. Theory 1 involves Silent Death, the owner of Alex99 at the time of the name change, and the man responsible for the loss of Mr. Pappy's special username, as well as a user named Legendarisk. Legendarisk has some of the same intentions of Silent Death, which are to work for Mojang or to get on their good side. Silent Death, who owned Alex99 as mentioned earlier, changed the password to a 256 character string that he called a password nuke, claiming that he never wanted anyone else to get the account. It's thought that the new password might have contributed to the account being locked. Some people believe that Silent Death or Legendarisk reported all the Alex invalids to Mojang, or Alex99 at the very least, and the other accounts were caught in the crossfire as they also started with Alex and Alexa. However, there is a flaw in this theory, which is that Boss B and Space Tune were both private, and they don't start with the name Alex, which also applies to Am Jacobs. Regardless, it is still a possibility worth mentioning. There are two versions of the second theory, one of which I came up with myself before three more names were changed on the 3rd of March. The first version of the theory is that Mojang decided to remove all invalids that had to do with Steve and Alex, or potentially all Minecraft related names in general. It would make sense considering that the four names that were changed just happened to share the same name as the main character, Steve's female counterpart. However, obviously, the three names changed on March 3rd had nothing to do with Minecraft characters, blocks, items, etc., so I've essentially trashed the theory entirely at this point. The related theory is that Minecraft started to change all invalid names by alphabetical order, but stopped partially through for whatever reason. Toon obviously begins with a T, so it would have been the last account to be changed. However, if spaces are considered to be before the letter A in Mojang's alphabet system, Toon would have been the first account to be changed, yet it was the last to change on the first day. Theory 3 involves me, believe it or not, but it's the least credible of the three. A fair amount of people believe that a list I made, which can be found in the description, is the reason behind the names being changed. A Mojang staff supposedly stumbled upon the list and changed the names that he saw. This theory is very flawed though. Two of the seven changed names were not on the list, some of the names that were there had been public for many months or even years, including on lists kept by other users, although mine has been the most popular for quite a while, and all of the listed invalids would have been changed instead of just a random amount. There are other minor theories, but they haven't gained much traction for the most part. Considering the variation in all these theories, there really is no way to know why any of this happened. We'll simply have to hope it doesn't happen again, or an incredible part of Minecraft history may be lost forever. Four days after this invalid change wave ended, the username underscore was also changed to space12345. Similarly to the names locked in the wave, the username underscore was nowhere to be found in the name history on sites like NameMC with the exception of MCSH. The new UUID, mentioned earlier along with the username 1, was retained when the name was changed, just like a normal account would be. Considering that the UUIDs were likely changed on the 2nd or 3rd of March, which were the same days as the invalid change wave, it's very possible that these two different changes were linked together, but there isn't any solid proof. That about wraps it up for Lost Invalids as of April 2020. There may be more in the future, and there may be some in the past that have yet to be found, but part of the beauty of these special accounts is the journey to find them and learn about their history. Hopefully, you've enjoyed learning about the mystery of these accounts as much as I have. I'll be making more videos like this soon, so stay tuned if you're interested. This has been MCB signing off. Thank you for watching and have a great day.